Good night, sweet prince. The battery died, I gotta switch, hold on. Okie dokie, we're no longer using the T3i because it died. I love this. I'm having so much fun. The box says use oil. Um, this one says or melted butter. The melted butter tastes better. And then we're gonna mix, mix, mix. So now you're gonna spoon it into the little muffin tins or if you're doing it the other way, the directions are different, but uh, you wanna fill it two thirds of the way because they will rise because it is bread. I'm usually pretty good at not making a mess. I'm supposed to, oh, da, 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 oh my God, it's dripping everywhere. Uh, oh, there it goes. Okay, so when that is done, we will put it in there for 14 to 16 minutes. I'm gonna put it in there for 14 since it is on confectional oven. It may cook faster, I don't know. And then we'll get started on the beans. Oh man, a bag of pinto beans. A bag of pinto beans, I'm gonna put this in here. Hey Google. So now we have to clean the beans and I think I just have to rinse them really well. And this is honestly gonna be like the easy part. It's just seeing if I do it right. How do beans work? <laughs> I'm gonna pray. Please don't let me mess up the beans. Amen. Now we have, so we have a bag of beans cleaned in the crock pot. I have bacon, raw bacon. If you don't cook and you're like, oh, I don't know how to cook or whatever, it's okay to learn and it's okay to fail because that's how you learn. Do you know how many times, ooh, this smells real good. <laughs> Do you know how many times it took me to learn how to make stuff? Am I supposed to separate these? I'm gonna separate them. It took me a long time to learn how to make rice for starters. I always fucked up the rice. In the rice cooker, I always, just messed it up. I could never ever make the rice the right way. It would be too dry and like crunchy. It would be uh, too soft and squishy. Like I added too much water. I could just never figure it out. And then one day I found a TikTok on how to properly make it. And I was like, oh wow, I gotta try that. And ever since then I uh, make rice properly. So, but it's that, but I still struggle with chicken sometimes. Um, I have a thermometer now, a meat thermometer. So I can like measure the inside and it's come in so much handy, dude. In, invest in that. I'm gonna wash my hands. This smells so good. I'm gonna wash my hands. I have to add the water now. Um, I thought this crock pot thing was gonna have a longer string. It does not. So I'm gonna move it behind me. Look at me and having all this room. Oh, I have so many outlets. I have a small bowl and I'm gonna fill. I'm gonna. F oh my god, you can't see me. I love this kitchen. I'm gonna to try to fill this up and I'm either gonna guess or I'm gonna big brain it. So from the beans, the water needs to be three inches above the beans. That is one inch. That's like one and a half. Okay, there are the beans. That is not three inches. Um, okay, one more bowl. I have a measuring tape. Ah, 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 there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, it's exactly two inches, dude. To about here. Beauty guru. This is about three inches. I'm sorry to deliver the bad news, but that is three inches. Put it on low, cover it, and I'm gonna leave that for 12 hours. <laughs> oh boy. This is what we are currently dealing with. Um, as you can see, the beans are on the bottom. I put the bacon on top. It won't matter because I'll have to stir it. And then over here, yeah, we have our cornbread in the making. Um, it'll be done in four minutes, supposedly, but I will do the chopstick test because I don't have stick sticks. I have chopsticks and we'll stick it in the middle. And if it comes out clean, then they're done. If it does not come out clean, we need to do a little bit more. But sometimes I can usually guess by how golden they are on top. Okay, so the cornbread... Looks like it could use a little bit longer, but I'm gonna do the stick test anyway. Oh uh, yeah, okay. It didn't come out clean, which means it's not completely done. Set a timer for 90 seconds. I had a Dr. Pepper that I forgot about, and now it's Dr. Pepper mixed with water. But I can still use the cup, and I probably need a drink of water. No, they're done. Like I said, sometimes you can just look and tell. I like to take the muffins out of the tin so they stop cooking inside the tin. I don't actually know if that does anything. That's just what I've noticed. Here we have our cornbread muffins. As you can see, they are kind of toasted around the outside and uh, still light and fluffy looking, which is good, they're not burnt. They're just done. If you want me to double test it, I will double test it. We'll do the big one. Comes out perfectly clean. This other big one 
comes out perfectly clean. Easy way to get these out usually is with a fork, but I'm gonna use the chopstick because I'm lazy, but just scoop, push it in, pull out, scoop, push it in, pull out, Ooh, that came out real fast. I already know the cornbread's gonna be good though, so now we just have to wait for the pinto beans, so um, I guess I will see you tomorrow morning. Hopefully I wake up on time, I think I should. 8.38, so 8.30. Um, I have to wake up at 8.30 for the pinto beans. I'm not a morning person. I'm a morning person in the sense of like being up at 4 a.m. for fun. Um, I'm not a morning person in the sense of waking up at 8 in the morning. So this is gonna be fun. I have to be up early anyway because the electrician's coming to tear my wall out. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs>